Hello and welcome to Chai with Lakshmi. Would you believe it if I told you that the story of America's number one teleradiology company for this year started right here in Bangalore? Well, it did, and it started in someone's home. Today, you're meeting one of the founders and discovering their beautiful journey in getting to where they are today. 500 staff, global operations, and more. It's really been a very accidental. Uh, we call ourselves the accidental entrepreneurs of the new India. But when we moved back to India in 1999, interestingly, my, hu my husband couldn't get a job here. Here we were highly trained, back from the US and uh, he was a radiologist from Yale University, trained at Cornell, no job in India. Uh, and so for two years he was home, uh, working, kind of doing stuff, being a full-time dad. Uh, and then we went to the US on a trip and one of the professors at Yale said, you know, we can't get anyone to cover the night shift. And you know, it was one of those bling moments, those aha moments. And both Arjun and I looked at him and went, Jim, Arjun will cover it for you from Bangalore. And so at that point, it wasn't like we were like, oh, we're going to be entrepreneurs or we're setting up this company. It was just like, ah, he's got something that he can do <laughs> from India. And uh, so we, from our home, set it up to computers and he started working for Yale University. So there were hiccups and in about six months, the program ended. But we had seen that this made a lot of sense. Mm -hmm. uh, and so we set up a website and set up a company because in India, you need a corporate structure so we set it up as a company and so Teleradiology Solutions was born. When we set off if someone said give me a five-year plan, ten-year plan we had no idea mm -hmm. but along the way it's been an exciting journey. That sounds fabulous. Um, what's it been for you? What's it meant for you? I never quite understood people who set up organizations and grew them. I just thought they were a different breed from me. It's been interesting because once I was bitten by that bug of entrepreneurship, it's, it's kind of like a different spark and there was no looking back. And there's so many things I do that I was never trained for, like whether it be HR or finance or running the foundation or figuring out different ways to do the same thing or better ways to do the same thing. It's, it's just kind of learning on the job. And I find entrepreneurship now to be a very creative process. So I still practice medicine. I have these two hats, I'm like doctor in the afternoon, entrepreneur in the morning, doctor in the morning, entrepreneur in the afternoon and it's really for me been very exciting. I think I'm a, I'm a Gemini, I need constant stimulation. <laughs> so this definitely gives me that. So personally for me, I feel like that's why I was given this, to be able to do more and more, you know, I, all kinds of things. I like to put up playgrounds in government schools for kids who don't have access to them. We're on our 65th playground. It's interesting, it almost seems to me that because, uh, uh, probably because you didn't start off saying that, oh, I want to be an entre entrepreneur and I want to make lots of money. It started off, you know, accidentally, as you mentioned. And in the process, you've also stumbled upon all these other things you could be doing. And yes. it's been a whole journey of um, feeling good and enjoying what you do. Absolutely, yeah. For me, it's not about selling out or, you know, getting VC funding and growing a hundred times. It's about really enjoying what entrepreneurship gives me, which is creativity and the power to do good. That's beautiful. Um, do you have the time to show us around and show us how it all works? Sure, always welcome. <laughs> Sounds good. So this is all different areas reporting. For instance, there we report for Singapore, for about 11 centers in Singapore, mm -hmm. about 300 patients per day. Mm -hmm. uh, and in here for remote parts of India, okay. Arunachal Pradesh, Gulbarga, so on. Um, and there is emergency room. So okay. those are half an hour. Cases come within half an hour, the reports go out. And then this is our kind of call coordination. So anything, a patient has a problem, we'll immediately call the hospital. Um, let them know that there's a problem and so on. So okay. we report for about 2,000 patients per day. Wow. Uh, okay. So it's a pretty operationally hmm. heavy duty, absolutely, like a absolutely. little army zone. When you started off, <laughs> how many patients would you have been reporting? To? Two, <laughs> two per day. And when we hit five per day, it was like party time. We're reading uh, for a hospital in uh, South Africa, Tanzania. The patient has come with a history of leg swelling, painless leg swelling. And then uh, uh, they have sent a lot of images uh, with contrast and, um, and other reformats. So we interpret these images and then uh, uh, send them the uh, facts and the report. In many places, uh, there is a shortage of radiologists. 
hence um, this is a it's a, it's a, a wonderful option uh, for reporting the cases and this is where we have a telemedicine room in here okay where we do telemedicine for the villages in raichur i see okay. yeah, about 26 villages are covered okay this is the technology wing Telerad mm -hmm. Tech that we set up uh, about two years ago, basically to develop the teleradiology software. So instead of just being a teleradiology service provider, we can actually enable the whole world to do teleradiology. Absolutely. So, they so have you develop for yourself, and then you're providing the same technology to other companies as well. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so this is a training center. One of the things we felt uh, in India is that to overall raise the bar of training whether it be doctors you know radiologists so we have sessions for our radiologists our IT team the doctors down in RxDx sessions for patients um, sessions for healthcare professionals who want to do management for IT guys who want to do healthcare so it's an overall general training we can beam in lectures from professors at Yale or faculty in Israel so it's a global they sit here, but they also sit globally and attend That's the sessions. It's a nice fancy setup. I can see in front of every, you know, seat. There's like a plug point, and uh, yeah. you know, so people can bring oh. in the laptops. A little. And check this out. Little Ooh. like the airlines. Yeah. <laughs> Kingfisher. Very nice. I bet this was your thinking. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love about entrepreneurship. You can do all this crazy, wacky stuff, and there's no one to tell you it's crazy and wacky. <laughs> Sunita, thank you so much for being on Chai with Lakshmi. It's been fascinating uh, to come to know your journey as an entrepreneur and what you're doing here at Tele Radiology. Oh, thank you. It was a pleasure. Cheers to Lakshmi. Cheers, <laughs> cheers, yes. Well, cheers to Sunita as well. And to entrepreneurship and all the good it can do. Absolutely. And to you.